Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. It is another beer in my Easter weekend, Easter long weekend beer marathon. I, am, I think I'm up to beer number 13 or 12, something like that. I don't know. I am. Anyway, we're going to do the last of the new Morrison beers that I have. And it's what I've been looking forward to. And it is the Thornbridge Riffle. This is a West Coast IPA coming at 7% ABV as it says so there and it also says it on the back around there ish i think yeah there and um, this is a collaboration with Bert mill Bert mill brewery hence the windmill on that side and then the thornbridge fine art fine art lines on that side i love this design this style is beautiful I am I'm not gonna read to you what it says on the back, because it's about what a riffle is. I am stones over water, blah 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 blah. Um it does say on the side though, save at five to eight. Now I don't know whether that's the time or whether it's the temperature. Um the malts the hops are on a Chinook Centennial Talus at Equinox. It is on the eye it's pale, on the nose it's grapefruit and pine, the taste it's lemon and guava. This goes well with grilled pork and pineapple skewers. That's what it says. Is that there? I, um, I don't know what this cost me because I bought eight and it was part of the buy four, get this, pay for three, get the, th the cheapest one free. Anyway, I say, I'm looking forward to this. I like a West Coast IPA. I really do. I, um, let's pop it off. Let's see what we've got. And for me, Thorbridge do some. Really nice bitter beers. Mint Jaipur. I love with bitter finish. I love Jaipur. <coughs> oh, wow. I'll just better that. It's crystal clear. I'm. Um, it's gold, and there is a massive amount of carbonation, as you can see, rushing up the glass into a half a finger dusting of white head. Very rocky, but that's a lot of carbonation. Wow. I was. I say it looks like a lager. I wasn't expecting it, but hmm. right. Let's go for the nose, so what we can smell. Fruit. Tropical fruit. Grapefruit, pineapple, voila, mango, that type of caper. It smells okay. Right, let's go for body and carb. Cheers. I mean, the carbs are a bit like, look at that, it's still going. It's raining upside down. Anyway, let's go. It's light. I um, and despite the fact that there's a Russian carbonation there, the carbonation is really light. Okay, do. So let's go for a big old taste. Cheers. Okay, it starts to back and work our way forward. There is a bitter resin finish on it, and it does go. And then before that, I see it's starting to build up quite nice actually. Before that, you do get a little kind of grapefruity peel feel. Um, 7% is well hidden. front there's not a lot going on 
there's hints of fruit, there's hints of citrus in there. Um, a bit of lemon. A little light, again, light dust and tropical fruit. Um, and I said, just when you think it's, it's going to wash itself away, this bitterness comes in and cracks it. Um, it's got a very similar finish for me to Life and Death. Is it a West Coast? I don't know. It's for that bitter finish, I would say it is. But there's not a lot else going on there. It has that, like, a, like the, the Jaipur finish. Jaipur tastes it's better, if I'm being honest. But it's fruity. Like fruits. That bitterness is, is probably the best bit about it. I wanted this to be brilliant and it's not. I, I'm surprised because Thorn Bridge, as I say, do some real quality stuff. Um, and so the bait milk, to be fair. Anyway, let's wrap this review up. So this is Thornbridge and Bait Mills Riffle West Coast IPA, 7% out of Morrison's. Do I like it? It's okay. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Would I recommend to friends? No, I don't want to be disappointed. I am, um, I'll tell you what they, a couple of years back, Thornbridge did a collaboration with Firestone Walker. I think it was called Pondera, or something like that, Pond something, Ponderosa, and that was a West Coast, and that was well better than this. I mean, that was a, for me, that was a, one of the beers of, of, of that, I think it was 2020, they, they released that, it was one of the beers of the year, it was really good, this is nowhere near, <sighs> yeah, disappointed. So anyway, if you've had this, let me know what you think, please put a little comment in the comments box below, we'll put a link to the Thornbridge website down in the description box, the usual stuff, didn't notice that this was on the website, to be fair. Um, if you've had a safe feather, put a comment in the box if, if you haven't, then give it a go and let me know. Um, that's for the video, then if you don't, subscribe down there. I've got a few more to do for us today, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe, have a good weekend. Adiós.